हेलो एवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एस क्यूल वीडियो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंडिपेंडेंट एंड को रिलेटेड सब क्वेरीज सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस थ्री थिंग्स बेसिकली द फर्स्ट थिंग इज वाई डू वी नीड सब क्वेरीज सो वी विल सी दैट वाई वी एग्जैक्टली नीड द सब क्वेरीज एंड देन वी विल सॉल्व आर एस क्यूल क्वेश्चन यूजिंग अ इंडिपेंडेंट सब क्वेरी एंड द सेम प्रॉब्लम वी विल सॉल्व विद को रिलेटेड सब क्वेरी and then we will discuss what is the difference between them and what to use when so today's video is important because it is covering very advanced concepts of sub queries independent versus correlated so please watch till end i am sure you will learn a lot of things throughout the video okay so we will be working with this employee table throughout this video and we will be solving a question so let me tell you what is the question okay so the question is this Question says write a SQL to print employee details whose salary is more than their department average salary. Okay, so let me explain the problem quickly and then we will discuss why we need sub query to solve this problem. So if you see there are employees in this employee table and they are belongs to different department. So these two these four employees belongs to department ID hundred. These employees four employees. belongs to department id 200 and these belongs to department id 300 and 500 okay so the question is we need to find employees whose salary is more than their department average so what is the department average salary of department id 100 let's quickly find out so i will say select employee okay m e m select department id comma average of salary as average salary or let's say average department salary okay from employee right group by department id okay so let me run these two things okay so what do you see we see the average salary of department id 100 is 10500 so we need to print all those employee from department id 100 who salary is more than 10500 which means this guy and this guy mohit and vikas if you see ankit salary is less than 10500 right but for these two it is more so we want to print these two guys again for department id 200 right what is the average salary 9000 right so which means we want to print this guy mudit and agam right sanjay and ashish won't be coming now these in these two there is only one one employee so nothing will come because their average is same and no guy is more than their average salary right so this is the problem now why we need sub query in this case okay let me put this in the excel and i will show you so this is my employee table right and what is the department average department average is this right let me put it the, this as well Okay. So now, by looking looking at this query, just at this table, I can't tell whose salary is more than department average salary. What I will have to do, I will have to find the department average separately, and then if I join these two data sets, if you see, if I join these two data sets on department ID and get the average salary column here, this will do for me, right? So if I just join these two data sets on department ID. and i bring this here right and this will be 10500 right and for all of this 10500 10500 10500 right because these are department id 100 right so for all of the 100 the average department average salary is 10500 now if you look at the 9000 so department id 200 9000 9000 9000 9000 right and for these two guys it is the same right now once i get this data then i can easily compare i can just say give me records where where the salary is greater than average department salary right and i will get true true which means these are the guys who sell is more than average department salary which means i need this intermediate data right this is kind of intermediate data that i need so that i can join back with the main table right so this is my main table 
this data is readily not available but we can drive it from the main table and join it back from to the main table right so for that we need to use the subquery right so this is how it is so this is my so this employee table is this thing right and this result this result what you are seeing is the result of this query now i want to join these two so that's when i can convert it into a subquery it means it will work it as a another virtual table let me call it d right and this is my employee table e right e and i will say inner join and in inner join instead of instead of a table i am giving this subquery right so the result of this subquery will work as a as a table a virtual table right so i will say join employee and this result which i am calling as d i am giving it alias as d on e dot department id equal to d dot department id right and what i will do i will select e dot star right comma d dot average department salary right and let's see what we get so if you see i got this result this is the one i wanted right whatever i got in excel i got this right so now i got everything i have the salary i have the average department salary in the same table in the same result i just have to put a where condition where where e dot salary is greater than d dot average department salary the moment i do it i get my answer right there will be four people mudit and vikas more than 10500 um, sorry mohit and vikas and mudit and ragam more than 9000 right so this is how it is now when we solve this query this is solved by using independent subquery okay so this query, this subquery is an independent subquery and I will tell you why I'm calling it a, as independent subquery. Because we can run this query independently. If I just select this subquery and run, execute it, it will run, right? So it means it runs only once, okay? So there are two things with the independent subquery. Number one, first thing is we can run it independently. Okay, this is the first thing. Second thing is, it runs only once. Okay, so there are two characteristics of independent subquery. It will run only once. It will not run multiple times. It will just run once and the result of this will be used to do inner join with the employee table. That's it. That's it. You have to understand about the independent subquery. These two points. Okay, that if you select the subquery and you try to run, it should run. It means it is an independent subquery and it will run only once. Okay. Now let's solve this problem using correlated subquery. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I will write the query and then I will explain you how it is working. Okay. So let's start. So I'll say select staff from employee. Okay. Where salary. Now I will call it as a E1. I'll tell you why. Just, just focus here is greater than select e2 dot sorry average of e2 dot salary from employee e2 where e1 dot department id equal to e2 dot department id okay now what is happening here let, let me run this first and then we will we will see what is the result and then we will discuss how this query is working this is a correlated subquery and i'll tell you how so if you see we are getting the same result those four guys right mohit vikas mudit agam now how it is working so if you see there are two instances of employee table e1 and e2 okay so when whenever you are using two instances put it on excel so i will take this the new sheet and i'll call it e1 right so this is my e1 this is my e1 and this is my e2 okay just focus here for the for a moment okay so it is the same table just two instances of same table right e1 e2 now 
Now, what I'm doing is, if you look at the query, I'm saying, so what happens when I write a correlated subquery, this inner query, so this is my inner query. In case of independent subquery, this was my inner query and this is my outer query. Again, here, this is my inner query. So in independent subquery, what happens? The inner query runs for every record of outer, outer table. If in this table there are 100 records, this query will run 100 times, right? And how it will happen? So let's understand. So this is my first record, right? So for each record, for each record, my this query will run. And what it will, it is saying, it is saying, it is saying that get the record from E2 table, right? This is my E2 table where E1 dot department ID equal to E2 dot department ID, which means what is the department ID of first record? 100, right? It is 100. And from E2 table, all those hundreds will come, right? That's what I'm saying. For each record of this outer query table, this inner query will run. So it will get you these four records, right? These four records will come and it will give you the average of salary, average of E2 dot salary, which will be the average of these four records, which is again 10,500, right? So this query for the first record became something like this is greater than and here it will be 10,500 right right because it will calculate the average salary put it here and give you the result of first and the first is 10,000 is 10,000 greater than 10,500 no so this first employee will not come in now right again for the second record again department ID is 100 again it will it will select these four records and again it will calculate average salary and again it will check is salary is greater than average salary in this case yes so it will give us the second record right so this is how correlated subquery is working because in the inner query right there is a reference of outer query you see even is the outer table the outer query and there is a reference of that here which means for each record of this this inner query is going to run right so this is the difference between independent and correlated subquery the first difference is it runs only once the independent but the correlated subquery the inner query will run as many number of times as many records are there in outer table right second thing i said that we can run it independently right if i just select this because there is no difference of any other table we can run it independently but if i try to run it independently it won't work if you see it won't work why it will say e1 is not there right because we e1 is here and if i don't select it it doesn't know what is e1 so it will not run right so now the now the difference is clear that independent query we can run it independently but correlated subquery we can inner query we cannot run independently right so inner query we can run only independently in independent subquery second the, the independent subquery run only once. It will run once and the result of this will be used in the outer query. But here it is not like that. For every record of outer query, it is going to run. Okay. I hope it makes sense. You try it yourself. I will put the insert table, create table in statement in the description box. Do like the video if you want me to create more videos on SQL advanced tutorials. Thank you so much. Please share and like this video. Have a good day.